Hello and welcome to Schoology, Perrysburg School's new learning management system, or LMS. We will be using Schoology to communicate children's grades to their parents. In addition, Schoology provides access to class content, calendars, and updates of school and district-wide events. Let's get started by logging in. You should have received an email with your username and password. Go ahead and type those in right now and then hit the login button. Once in, you should see this page. It looks similar. There are three columns in Schoology. The first one is on the left, and it has recent activity calendars and messages. In the middle, you can see recent activity, or you could change the button up here and see updates, or blogs, or other things. And on the right-hand side, you can see a calendar. If I click on calendar, a larger size calendar comes up. Go back to home. Up in the upper right hand corner you will see your name and you will also see a box with a little white triangle. If you click on that you will see your children listed. In this view I can see my daughter Mary's courses and all the activity in her, in her classes. If I click on courses, I can see the courses that she's enrolled in. If I want to view any of those particular courses, I simply click on the course. And now I can see all of the things that are involved in this course. I can also see any upcoming events or homework. I can click on grades and I can see the grades in this class. Within the grades, if I want to see a particular assignment, I can look on this one, for instance, and see what this homework was about. If I click on the view grade info, it will give me a little bit more info about the assignment. Click on home again to go back. On the left hand side, you notice that they've changed a little bit. My choices have changed. I can click on grades and attendance and now in this view I can view any of the grades um, for any of the courses that my daughter's enrolled in. Let's look at this class and see what it see what I have. There are no there's nothing posted yet for this class because she's going to be taking that quarter three and quarter four. If I click on algebra I'll see the same view I saw before when I was in the algebra class. If I click on calendar, I will see a calendar with all of my daughter's assignments and when they're due. You can see she has quite a few things due on Friday. Either they were done in class or they could be homework. Click home again to go back. If my daughter were involved in any groups, they would show up here. Groups could be school clubs, or it could be a small group that a teacher has formed within a class. When I go up here, I can switch to my son Chester. Chester is a younger student. He is in third grade. And when I look here, the same things appear. I can click on grades and attendance. And I can see all the courses that Chester is enrolled in. Go back to home. And I can also see anything that he has upcoming on, in his classes. I can also, and I can do this in both children, with both children, I can see graded assignments. And if I want to look and see what was graded, I can look right here, workbook page 72. And if I go over here, since we are using standards-based grades in uh, grades K through 5, his shows up as an M, which means mastery for this assignment. So he did well. If I click on the grade info, it will tell me what category this fell into. This was in number and operations in base 10, the quarter, and even the standard that it's aligned to. If I hover over that, it will tell me that this standard or this uh, assignment went with, I can add and subtract numbers, up to 1,000. Click on home to go back. 
I can also click on enrollments and see the same classes show up. If I un and if I go up here to most recent, I can see updates. I can see grades, the most recent grades that have been given to Chester. And so it gives me as a parent a lot of information. As teachers become more accustomed to using Schoology, there'll be more and more information posted. We hope that you uh, find this information useful and informative. If you have questions, please contact your school office and they can direct you to the right place to get your answers.